Yo, 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 this is Games Graphics, be back in the building with another GTA 5 mod tutorial for you, and today, we're going to be showing you how to install Open 4, that's right, Open 4, alright, I'm going to have um, a link down in the description, when you click that link, it's going to bring you right here to Open 4's website, okay, when you get here, you want to click on this green tab that says Download Now, Open 4 3.0, alright, I know it says uh, Open IV, but that is actually Roman numeral for 4, okay, so it's Open 4 3.0, let's go ahead and click on that, when you click on that, it will be um, a download, it asks you where do you want to download that download at, just go ahead and find where you want to download that at, I downloaded mine on my desktop already, so once you have that all downloaded, let's go ahead and exit out this window. All right. When you have it downloaded, you should have this file right here. We can just double click on that file. Then we have a window that will pop up asking us to choose your language, okay? I'm going to choose English, then click continue. Then these are the terms and agreements. Scroll all the way down. Feel free to read through those. When you're done reading, just click I accept the terms of this agreement, then click continue. All right, on this page, it's going to be choose the installation you want. All right. Um, at the top, you see it's install open forward to this computer. Install options have a create desktop icon and you have the option to run open for after installation okay um, I'm gonna leave this one unchecked and I'm just going to check the create desktop icon alright now the installation path you can't really change this alright um, it says down here below it installation path cannot be changed alright and uh, you can also click this if you wanted to download open for for installation on a separate computer all right so for today for this installation we're just going to click this one right here and click create desktop icon and then click continue all right then it's a little window is going to pop up saying download size 23.8 mbs do you want to continue click yes Now this might take a minute or so, uh, I guess depending on your computer. All right. Now when done, you'll get a message saying installation of Open 4 has been completed successfully. We can click close. And that is it, folks. It's real quick. That's it. So now that we have installed it, if you look up right here, I have my icon that has been created right there. I'm going to do is double click on that icon. All right. Then I'm going to click on Windows. All right. Now this box is going to pop up. It's going to be asking you where is the location of your game, okay? Um, a lot of people aren't quite familiar with the location of their GTA 5 PC files are at on their computer. So I'm going to show you right now. Go ahead and click Browse, okay? Then on the side right here, you're going to have your window drives. You're going to click on the C window drive, okay? Then we're going to click on Program Files 86, all right? Now we want to scroll all the way down to Steam, right below Rockstar Games. We're going to click on Steam, all right? Then we're going to scroll all the way down and click on Steam Apps. Then we're going to click on Common. And then right here, you will see our game files. Go ahead and click on Grand Theft Auto 5. And once we click on Grand Theft Auto 5, we could click on Select Folder. Then we'll get a message saying successfully GTA 5.exe version won't open for it can work with this file. So that's an all go. As long as we get that green message saying successfully, then we're good to go. We can go ahead and click continue right below it. All right. Backups. Do not forget to back up your original files before editing. All right. Click continue. Six and a half hours later. All right. We have uh, successfully hooked up our Open 4 to our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. 
now from this point what we want to do is install our ASI manager that is uh, will make it possible for us to run our mods and run our scripts inside of uh, Grand Theft Auto 5 so what we want to do is go to tools and then click on ASI manager all right now when you're first installing this program and this window pops up you will see that there will be three files and they will see not installed okay so what we're gonna do is click install on each and every one of them now in the second one when you click install it's going to give you a, a option create mods folder the mods folder allows you to keep all of your original files safe and have easiest one click way to switch between modified and original files we're going to make sure that the first one is checked show notification while editing archive outside of mods folder that lets you know if you're editing a file and you haven't put it inside your mods folder they're gonna prompt you with the message to put it in your mods folder before you start making any editing changes or whatnot alright so you definitely want to have this first box changed um, allow edit mode only for archives in, inside mods folder you can check that one also that way that could keep you from editing other files that aren't inside of your mods folder because if you edit something outside of your mods folder and you forget where you edit it at and it could mess up your whole game all right so just make sure that uh you definitely want to keep both of these checked all right once we got those checked let's go ahead and click yes all right now we got the third thing to install the third and the last open camera just click install all right now we have all the green they're all installed we can click close all right now that's it folks we're all good from here it's just a basic installation of open 4 now from this point on um, you're gonna have to watch a couple of tutorials I have a couple of tutorials on how to install different mod programs and whatnot so definitely go check out those links in the description as well this is games and graphics thank you for tuning in if this helped you smash that like button and also definitely subscribe to the channel I'll see you next time I ain't scared of you motherfuckers